that's just beautiful. How's it going everyone? This is the next noob and welcome to another indie game demo. This one is called Sable. So you've just heard the beautiful music that came with the intro to this game. Before we begin, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet to see more playthroughs of indie game demos on the channel. I hope you enjoy this video and let's go! Okay, new game. Even the loading screen is beautiful. It's a nice traditional pattern right there. So this demo is part of Steam's Next Fest, and I've been looking at the screenshots for this game. It really looks amazing. So the graphics are hand drawn, and I'm not really sure what the story is or what the gameplay is. But yeah, as you can see, it looks incredible. That's nice. this person? Yeah, I think we are. It really looks good. That art is phenomenal. And look at the dust particles right there. That's awesome. Everything's so serene and calm. I'm not used to it because I've been playing a lot of Distraint recently, which is just an attack on the nerves. This is amazing. I love the dust particles. Look at that. I'm not a fan of the lighting, but wow, the light actually moves. That's amazing. Oh, and it, ooh, it actually illuminates part of the character as we move through. That's cool. I mean, I'm not a fan of how the light looks like because it's a, because the way this is colored is, I think it's cell shaded. But look at how that follows me. That's amazing. Okay, can we do anything with this? Oh, I can climb stuff. So, we can just automatically climb stuff? Okay. So as soon as I uh, go near that thing, I just automatically climb it. Okay, what else is here? Is there anything in here? Anything important? Secrets? Nothing, right? So yeah, that confirms it. I thought it may be... Maybe that's just for the face right there, but uh, anytime you go near a wall, we just climb up. There you go. Okay. Let's go this way. What's this? Oh. So, is that timed or something? No, not really. Okay. It's like portal. Press A to jump. Sure. Okay. Why are we jumping? Oh my god, there's lag. Climbing, move towards a wall to... Yeah, kind of figured that out. So I think we can jump over that, but I want to see... Hey! Well, that, that's going to be a problem if you just keep climbing everything. So I want to see what else is here before I actually go up there. There's nothing really in here. Are we in the ruins of some temple or something? Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, it's easy to get stuck. But I like how this looks so far, so I'm not really complaining. Okay. There's a door. 
Okay. That's not gonna open for us. So the ladder it's in. Maybe there's a switch for the door up here. Come on, climb up. Oh! This one's opening. Crouch. Okay. The camera's a little wonky. There are times when I'm not moving in. That's cool. That's just amazing. Look, there's a hot air balloon up there. It's some camp, maybe. This is cool! I mean, look at the colors. The choice of colors here is just amazing. Like, this blue contrasts with the orange. Look at that sky. This is so cool. Okay, let's go. What else is here? There's a door here. Oh, that's closed, so we really can't go through that. Fine, okay. Uh, am I gonna die here? Can I jump from here? Is it okay? Maybe I should go through these, yeah. Sprinting, okay. So we have to keep track of our stamina. I think that's also something that's uh, going to go down if we climb stuff, yeah. There you go. Oh, what's this? So let's go to that camp. I knew this was going to look good based on the screenshots from Steam, but I didn't realize it was going to be this good. This is really nice. Look at the canyons there. Whoa. That's cool. There's a s dam there or something? Yeah. Okay. Whoa. What are you doing? Hi! I can feel Jody smiling behind her mask just as I know she can feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous and she's softly, sweetly amused. In her eyes, I probably have very little to worry about. You know you have nothing to worry about, don't you, Sable? Oh, so I'm Sable. Cool. I don't know if I have anything to worry about. I mean, we just met Sable. Um, I don't know. I tell Jody that I know, but that it hasn't quite sunk in yet. She chuckles. What has uh, not sunk in? I promise you, Sable, you're fine. But I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you've started, and then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? You wouldn't even let me put you on the seat. You were so afraid. Your hands were like little claws gripping onto me. I feel the memory in my fingers. But then I promised you it was going to be alright. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as a young woman and how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly, there you were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those little grasping claws on the handles and you were off. And I remember thinking, just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jaddy reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. I'm also noticing that the light is changing. I think the light changes with time. It's cool. Okay, so Jaddy says, and you can, Sable. I take a breath. Uh, I don't know where to start because I don't know what we're starting. Jaddy's story warms me, but I feel too overwhelmed to let it settle. I tell her with a sigh that I don't know where to begin. She chuckles. Well, I can help with that. You'll need to talk to Hilal and Driss. Driss should already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hilal will share something. Well, let's say as useful as it is fun, hmm? 
I think I might suspect what Jody's saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. Um, what if I choose the wrong path? I ask Jody what will become of me if I choose the wrong path. There are no wrong paths, Sable, or right ones. I'll be glad if you choose to stay with the Ibexi, but truth be told, I'll be glad no matter what, so long as you're happy. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing, so don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. Now go speak with Hilal. I'll be there to see you off. And speak to Driss as well. I've told him to arrange your bike with Saizo, but you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass to help you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. What's a gliding? I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there, perfectly weighted and crafted. Each component slides together with incredible, satisfying precision. Go on, go on. It's nearly time. Okay, compass. So that moves with me? Oh, that's nice. And the interface for everything also looks good. So I'm going to this part first. Yeah, for this person. What are you going to give me? Hi. How do I... Oh, there you go. As I approach Hilal, they give me an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Hilal's verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it with a touch of nerves for balance. A gliding stone. What does that do? Sable, take this. Hilal hands me a small round stone. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Hilal's hands, but emanating from within. I run my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. That's deep. I mean... That's a really nice way of describing a certain feeling. I mean, this is well written. Um, thank you. I thank them for the fuzzy rock. Oh, Sable, you don't know what this is, do you? What I've just given you is a gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Hilal that I feel... Uh, she said something about electric? Uh, static something earlier? Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the perpetual. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty or dormant and waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. Take it to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. Okay. That was lag. Hilal claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Can I watch them do that, please? I want to see how they do that. Come back to me once that's done. I want to hear all about it. As I'm about to leave, Hilal stops me. Oh, you haven't gotten your bike yet, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple. So go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jody's words now and tell Hilal I'll go and see Driss. Those titles really look good. I love the font for that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna see Driss. I think that title uh, thing also told me about the controls, but I didn't really see that properly. What is this? Can I talk to it? I can. This looks like a weird version of Eve from Wally. Postbox. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread messages. Have a good day. What? So I didn't have messages? That's weird. What are you? So, when you look at this camp, it looks like a like a traditional tribe, but then they also have technology like this. 
That's cool. And bizarre at the same time. Oh. Also, the fire looks impressive. Look at that. So, it transforms from being that glowy thing into that uh, into that solid shape with a gradient. I mean, art-wise, that's just amazing. Okay, it's night time. Am I going to be in trouble if it's night time? The night sky also looks good. There's something glowing there. In the distance? The hell is that? I feel like there's a lot to see in here. And this is only the demo, so I don't know how much we're actually going to be exploring. But I assume there's a lot that we can explore here. This feels like uh, Breath of the Wild. Okay, this is where the other person is, right? Hi. Yeah, before I talk to them, let's see what's in here. I like how there are different patterns for, for the cloth. It looks very good. What's that on the floor? That's a science thing. Okay. Hi. Though I've told myself not to be too eager, it's all I can do not to race up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get a hold of lately, but I now strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's extra beautiful, or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? Oh, the bikes have names? How fast will it go? Will my legs feel sore, or will I get used to it? Driss turns with a bit of a start. Sable! Uh, hello? Um... Yeah, maybe this. Did she? What about? I tell him it was about something special and then make a leading gesture, slowly, trying to be perfectly cool and confidential. But I can't do it. I'm too keen and the words spill out. I ask Driss if he might, sort of, possibly, maybe have a bike for me. Your bike? He yells it like it's an idea he's just had. Your bike. Yes, of course. Right. Yes. Your bike. That I was meant to... That I prepared for you. Because today is your... Uh... Gliding, apparently. What's a gliding? Is that a coming-of-age thing? Driss nods along with... With... Yeah, I think some... I think something's missing there. Yes, of course. Right. Yes, yes, I do have that. It doesn't sound like you do. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which I mean I arranged it for you. In a... Well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Hmm... Subtle. <laughs> uh, I'm getting a tutorial for a bike? Yes, exactly. A learning experience. You see, Sable, before one can own their own bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by taking a test ride on a different bike. I think about it and find I've never heard of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest. Sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. This wasn't how this is supposed to be, right? I mean, this guy. Okay. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby. A tester if, I've, if ever I've seen one. Yeah, sure. Really? I mean, yes. Good. Be gentle, though. The sand cutter's older than Johnny. You treat her with respect. Now, ride through the ring and back. Ride the bike through the ring and back. Sorry. And here's some advice for you, my young glider. Don't fall off. Okay. When you're... Uh, I did get to read that. I'm sorry. So, oh... I have a menu. So I didn't see this earlier. This was one of the instructions viewing the quest log. And apparently, yeah, I do have a menu. So I'm supposed to ride the bike 
That's definitely not a test. Yep. I don't trust Driss. Okay, complete tasks for Hilal and Driss. I guess for Hilal, it's going to the canyon. For Driss, it's testing the bike. Um, activating the gliding stone. This is for Hilal, right? Um, wow. Can I zoom out? No, not really, but this is a huge map with nothing on it. That scares me. Okay. That's just the main settings menu. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Device given by Jadi. Yeah, this is the compass and the gliding stone. Okay. I have clothing? And there are slots for clothing? Cool. Okay. So I can change my clothes at some point? That's nice. I always like uh, having customization options. Okay. That's nice. So let's try the bike. Um, accelerate. Okay. What is strafe? Is that break? What does strafe mean? Okay. I'm supposed to ride it through the ring, right? This reminds me of uh, the demo for Omno. Oh! Ooh! That looks cool! I want more of that. Is that the only ring in here? What's this? Is that an old boat? There's another one here. Let me see. That's another boat. Cool! I think we're nearing dawn now. The sky looks amazing. Everything looks amazing. I mean, even the smoke looks so cool. I'm going to try and uh, go to the canyon, the altar thing. Using this bike, might as well test it. And there's also a, uh, a... There's also something there that's that lights up. Let's check that first, and then let's go look at the altar that Hilal was, that Hilal was talking about. What the... Okay, the camera is a little bit wonky. That seems like something that's powered by electricity or something similar, right? What is that? Can I go there? Okay, let's try to see what that is. that high I think I'm gonna lose stamina at some point yeah I don't think I'm gonna reach that can I jump no okay maybe I'm too early in the game to do something with that maybe okay there's my bike let's go to the canyon let's try and see if we can find the altar that Hilal was talking about. Oh wait, which reminds me, I can actually look at my compass, right? Uh, I should speak to Driss. Speaking to Driss is... the blue one? Or should I go to the tasks and track yeah, let's track this one, and then let's see. So yeah, I think maybe that's the way. I hope we're not lost. I can't see the, the camp anymore. Are we lost? Oh no. Oh, there's the camp. You can see the smoke. 
I remember there was an arc. There you go. Maybe the altars that way? The camera is more wonky when you're on a bike, but I like riding this thing. It's a bit slow though. I feel like this would be just as fast as I would be if I were running. Okay, can I ride it up this area? I can. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, I can't really go up. Oh, I can. It's just a matter of forcing it. Okay. Oh. Maybe not that high. What happened? Okay, I have to reset the camera. It got wonky real fast. Oh, no! Can I crash this? Is it possible to crash? I don't want to crash it. I can't see anymore. Uh, I'm sorry for this. Uh, yeah, there you go. Let's try to go back up. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong. Uh, I think I'm controlling the camera wrong. Can I go up this area? Also, that sand cutter looks like the sand speeder they have in Star Wars. <laughs> looks cool. Okay, let's wait for that to... Ooh. Yeah, this does look like it may be an altar. Yeah. Should I climb up this part? Okay. The walls seem to be leading me to something. I like the color scheme as well. Oh, there's a door there. Cool. What's this? Is that a bird? A f fly? A person in a hazmat? Who knows? Right. Here we go. Oh! Oh no! Is that okay? I could have died there. That would have been the end of the story. <gasps> Listen to that. The acoustics. God, that's awesome. This is really satisfying. I mean, visually. And even the sounds are very satisfying. Oh, what's this? So we have reached the altar, I guess. Now this is where you put your Sheikah slate. The stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. I'm going to base this off of what I feel right now. I'm not afraid. Exhilarated? Maybe? Maybe it feels right? I mean, I know I'm supposed to be here, so I'm gonna choose that. I am ready for Rohana to know me. I am ready to know myself. Who's Rohana? I feel her curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. What just happened? There was a flicker there. Is that a glitch? The cutscenes feel like I'm watching an anime in a really interesting art style. I kinda wanna see an animated series that looks like this. Gliding. That's what gliding means, right? And that's why Hilal gave me the gliding stone thing. Okay. 
okay. So, when the elevator thing went up, it left another in its place, like like something that's shaped similarly to what uh, we encountered earlier. So maybe that's for the next person who will be coming of age? That's cool. Press and hold A to glide in midair. Sure, let's try that. Oh. Okay. I'm supposed to glide from... Yeah, maybe I'm supposed to go to those stairs over there. Okay. Oh. Okay, cool. Did I miss anything there? Yeah, maybe not. Okay. So I'm gonna glide my way out of here. Is that right? Because the thing fell from earlier, so I can't really go out the same way. Right, uh, maybe I'm supposed to glide over to this platform. Cool. It's weird that this is hand drawn, and yet this moves so smoothly. Look at that. I can't wrap my head around that. I mean, I know there are a lot of games that are like this right now, but I can't wrap my head around how what looks like a drawing on paper is 3D. It interacts with the light. I mean, depending on where we're looking at, the light is interacting with the shape of the character's body and also that I can actually move around in this quote-unquote drawing. That is messing with my head. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe I can climb here? Oh my god, I think I went too low. I'm not gonna reach it. Am I? Yeah, I did. Just in time. Okay. I'm supposed to go that way, probably. Right. Okay. Oops. Almost fell. Okay, so there's the door. Where did I fall earlier? Am I missing stuff because I'm not uh, going through all of the platforms? But there doesn't seem to be anything there, so I think I'm, that's fine. Oh, there's stairs here. Am I supposed to go down that way? Is there anything to see here? I mean, we have stairs so I can just safely go back up. Oh, there is something here. Okay. I got uh, currency. Is that currency? Do we have stairs again here? No, I don't think so. I don't think we can climb. I don't think we can climb back up there. Okay, so if it's a ladder, it's not stairs. I was saying stairs earlier. If it's a ladder, you don't really lose stamina. Oh, that's far. Can I do that? Should I run before I do it? Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh my god. I for... Damn it. Well, that's not gonna work. How do I go now? How do I go back up? Oh man, I screwed that up. Okay. There should be a way back up, right? There you go. Now if I jump here... Right. And then I can just glide. And then climb up here. This is the platform we were in earlier, right? Yeah. So we're back. Let's do this. Jump and glide. Cool. And we're back. I hope my bike's still there. That reminds me of uh, Now You See Me. I think there was a trick there in that movie that they did where uh, one of the magicians was inside a bubble or something like that. 
if you've seen that movie, drop a comment below and uh, let me know if you also remember that scene. It really looks like that. Uh, like that lighting thing. Where did I leave? There you go. Oh, it looks better when it's, uh, when it's bright outside. This is screenshot worthy. Look at that. The colors are really good. I mean, it's one thing for the art um, to look good, but it's also another thing to have a good choice of colors. I think the camp is... yeah, it's there. So we're done with two tasks. We can go back to Driss, uh, tell him that we've tested the pike. And then we can go back to Hilal and tell them that we've done the altar thing. Okay. That song in the background is also amazing. Sorry, I'm gonna keep gushing about this game because I really, really love the sounds and the visuals. Hi, Driss. Why can't I talk to you? There you go. I return to Driss, who somehow manages to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles, unexplained hissing, small fires? What do you mean fires? Surely you'd notice if you were on fire even a little bit. Um, was that a possibility? Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Ah, you asshole. Uh, is this back dangerous? Well, he doesn't finish. Have you already been... Um... I think something got cut off. Well, you're not getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it. Oh, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's something, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Hilal's got something to show you too. Help you out with more of that uh, mobility you're after. With my confidence in this exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Driss very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Hilal. Okay. Let's look at the quest log. Uh, so yeah, that's completed. Cool. So let's go back to... Uh, he allows up there, right? There's a ladder there, so maybe I can use that. Wait, um, I want to see what's in here. Oh. It's like a workshop or something. This looks nice. What's that? No, don't climb it. You can't really do anything with it. There's another bike here. Is this working? No? Oh, okay. Oh, is that my bike? Is that the surprise bike that Chris is gonna give me? Or did he even care? I think he just forgot about the bike. I both like him and hate him for that. I mean, that's funny, but also, I'm expecting the bike. I think someone told him before that he has to take care of that, right? So, hi Hilal. When I return to Hilal, it's clear they know what I've just experienced. They're excited on my behalf in a way that makes me miss them even before I've even left. Isn't it incredible? How does it feel? Uh... Exciting, I guess. I tell Hilal that hovering is exciting and ramble for a moment about all the things I'll be able to do when I'm out there in the world. Most of them involve me falling on my head and not getting hurt, but I'm sure I'll come up with more in practice. Right? You can do anything you want. Hilal's mood doesn't darken, but the sigh they let out holds a bit of sorrow. You're very lucky, you know. I miss it so much, that feeling just floating on the breeze. 
but I suppose it's best that it fades with age, hmm? Or else I might have never come back from my gliding. I'd just be out there heaving myself into chasms. Hmm. Sure. I'll tell Hilal I'll throw myself into a thousand chasms on their behalf. And they giggle. See, this is why I like Hilal better than Driss. They seem like a fun person. That's what I like to hear. I know people manage to keep it up, but I don't know that I've got the time to practice as much as they do. It takes a really serious focus. Hilal laughs even if there's a bit of regret in... something. Guess we'll never know. And I certainly haven't got that. Still, I suppose the gliding wouldn't mean much if it were all gains and no loss, hmm? I think about that, but decide that there is already too much loss on my mind to consider it much further. I am saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. To lose the perpetual is a sacrifice for another time. You're going to love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice? Try to have fun. There's a lot to be said about ritual and independence and all of that out there, but the world's an easier place if you put joy first. I thank Hilal for their advice and for their help, and tell them I'll miss them. It'll be over before you know it. A warning and a reassurance all in one, I guess. I say goodbye to Hilal. Before I go, Hilal gestures toward the tower. It seems Saizo wishes to see me before I leave the clan. Okay. Is there something else that uh, Hilal will discuss? Hilal quotes from a selection of obscure and lyrically mediocre Ibexi historical ballads whenever I pass by. There is a great verse that says much about our folk buried in their sand. What does that mean? Okay, so I have to go up that thing. For Saizo? Did I remember the name right? Oh. There's another person here. Who are you waving to? Ooh. Is that the same hot air balloon that I was seeing earlier? Or is that a different one? I, f I feel like there's another one here. Somewhere. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, don't climb stuff. Um. Wait, I just want to look for that other balloon. Oh, Jaddy has something to say as well. Wait, I just want to see the balloon. It's gone now. Okay, maybe that's the same balloon. Anyway, um, Jaddy. Jaddy greets me warmly. Hello, little glider. It's strange getting called that? I think if you're a young person and then you're going through a sort of coming of age ritual, maybe it's going to be strange. Like, after a few minutes, you're just not used to it. I tell Jody how strange it is being called Glider instead of Sable or even Clan Child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it, and maybe I like it too. My little Glider. Okay, let me go back to that other person. Okay, what is that other person doing there? Hi. You have an interesting mask. Are you welding something? As she looks out across the landscape, Zeke's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Hmm, something on your mind? Zeke's voice is weakly incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Elaria over there. I follow her gaze to a little speck in the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Elaria. Okay. Um, does she need help? Ziki shakes her head. No, she's fine, and I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I'll know more about that when I'm older. We have a short chat about nothing much in particular. I say goodbye to Ziki. Okay. So, our next uh, task is to go up this uh, building 
Yeah, there's no other tasks here, but I guess that person is going to give us another task. So I think this is a good stopping point for now. This has been very interesting so far. I mean, I have been saying several times that this really looks good, but I'm also intrigued about the story. Um, so we are playing as a character who is coming of age. I think she's going to have to leave the clan at some point, maybe after she's done uh, talking to Saizo. And uh, we're probably going to use a bike to leave the place. I'm also interested to find out what that electric red thingy from earlier was. Maybe that's important. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited to find out what other environments will be available to us uh, once we explore beyond the clan. Uh, oh, I didn't realize there were people there down below okay but yeah i want to see other environments as well in this art style it's really very cool and the music is just amazing it's calm i love how the sky turns from morning to dusk to night and it affects the lighting overall i'm also very invested in the sort of culture that they've created here it's sort of an ancient traditional kind of thing but but they also seem to be very advanced technologically and that's something that you usually see in tv shows and movies but it's nice to be part of of that setting when it's in a game so yeah we're going to have another episode for sable but that's it for today's playthrough if you enjoyed the video share it with your friends and leave a comment below to let me know what you think i should play next thank you so much for watching and see you in our next adventure